Good morning, second graders. I just wanted to welcome you to our first video that's, that we're making for math. And it's the first time that we're getting into our Big Ideas Math textbook. So uh, if you have looked before, I want you to go into our book and you'll see that there are a lot of pages that have the pictures of the people who wrote that book. You don't need those pages. Um, this, is, this is going to be uh, the page where I want to start at page number one. And it's all about numbers and arrays. We have already worked on numbers and arrays all year long. So I want to talk about this uh, a little more with our book. Now follow along. And if you, if I'm going too fast, you can pause and continue watching later after you catch up. Just get a pencil and start writing in the things that I write. Okay, just keep along. These are words that we have practiced already this year. Array, column, equal groups, equation, even, odd, repeated addition, and row. If you cut them out like vocabulary cards on the back, it explains in pictures and shows you what it is um, for each one. And here is lesson 1.1. It is our, our learning target for today is tell whether a number is even or odd. Now it says use linking cubes, but you can just use whatever you have around. Use linking cubes to model each story. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some things out. I've just grabbed some buttons and I'm going to put some out and each one is going to represent one of the students in the gym. So it says there are six students in the gym. Does each student have a partner? So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, and six. Do they each have to be the same? Absolutely not. But I want to see, will each one have a partner? Let's see, this one and this one have a partner. This one and this one have a partner. This one and this one has a partner. So there are six students in the gym. Does each student have a partner? Yes. Each student has a partner. Okay. Now, there are five students in the library. Does each student have a partner? And for that, I need five different. One, two, three, four, Five, And I have this one and this one. They, they are partners. This one and this one are partners. And this one does not have a partner. So the answer to this, does each student in five have a partner? The answer is no. Okay, so let me take these and we'll turn the page to this. It says, an even number can be shown in two equal parts. I have one, two, three, four in this top group, and I have one, two, three, four in the bottom group. So eight total can be shown as two equal groups. What about seven? I have one, two, three, four in the top group and only three in the bottom group. So they are not equal groups. That is an odd number. All right. I have... Let's see, I have this. So I have one, two, three on the top group. And I have one, two, three on the bottom group. And they are equal. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six all together. That is an even number because they have two equal groups. Let's look at this one. I have one, two, three, four, five on the top group. And one, two, three, four on the bottom group. The top group has more than the bottom group. This one does not have a partner. So five plus four is nine. And nine, since it doesn't have two equal groups, is an odd number. All right. Color the cubes. Let's see. Circle if it's even or odd. Now I'm going to color 11 of these cubes. If there are more, don't keep coloring. Only color to the number 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then I stop. There's one left over. It doesn't have a partner. 
it's odd. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause and stop, catch up to what I'm doing, and then come back and, and do it later. Let's do 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 8 in the top group and 8 in the bottom group. They are equal, so it's an even number. Let's come over here. Color the cubes to show the number, circle, even, or odd. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I don't color in the last one because I have to stop at this number. 13. And that is an odd number because it does not have partners for everybody. One, the next number is 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I know that five and five makes 10. That is an even number, two equal groups. Is one even or odd? So I have one here. One does not have a partner. That's an odd number. What about four? One, two, three, four. And I drew partners and partners. So they have partners for everybody. That's an even number. Now, this one, we talked about this in the class. 18, I have even or odd. To find out, I only have to look at the last number. So I look at this and say eight is my number. So I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four on top, four on the bottom. I know that any number, any digit past the first number doesn't change whether it's even or odd. I have this group and this group are equal, so it's an even number. So I do the same thing with 17. I only look at the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's four on top and three on the bottom. If it's not equal, then it's an odd number. Okay, here we go with 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing. I'm only looking at the last number. There's five on the top and four on the bottom. That is an odd number. And this one is a special one. This one is 20. And the last number, the last digit is zero. So if I have zero on this group and zero on this group, they're equal. So I know that it's going to be an even number. But I know that we are excellent at counting it by tens. So I could say 10 in this group and 10 in this group. 10 and 10 is 20, right? 10, 20, that's an even number. All right, boys and girls, I want you to do this. I want you to switch over to page number seven, and I want you to do these on your own. Color these in, show me that you know how to do these, and uh, answer the question on our Google Classroom. When you're done with this, hit turn in. That's the only way I'll see that you've done the work. All right, have fun, and if you have any questions, bring them with you to the morning meeting. Okay, bye.